welcome back to our channel. As you can see, we are of course still in Mexico and I thought that it would be really awesome to show you guys a full day of eating at an all-inclusive resort. You guys know that your girl loves to eat. I love food, so does Hunter. But I also value how I feel on vacation, but I don't restrict myself at all. So I thought that this would be kind of an interesting video to make because I'm sure that some of you have seen my full days of eating at home, and this obviously is going to look completely different. But I want to show you guys what I eat, why I make the choices that I do. So you guys just saw a clip of breakfast, and I just got a full plate of fruit with a cappuccino with almond milk and that was my pre-workout fuel because Hunter and I like to take just a few minutes every day to work out while we're on vacation. I like to move my body because most of the time I'm just like laying out, sunbathing, and I'm really sedentary. I think it's important to move your body because I still want to feel good. I don't want to feel lethargic and we aren't planning on doing any excursions this trip and so we're really just going to be laying out enjoying for the entire week so we worked out for a little bit this morning i had again just fruit oh and i also had a couple of egg whites as well pre-workout and so we're gonna go lay out by the pool for a little while and then go to lunch and i will show you guys what i get there okay guys hunter and i are just enjoying another nice cup of coffee it is raining outside so we're gonna go sit in the hot tub we like love that vibe but I forgot to show you, I'm already failing at this. We shared a built bar, and that's just because we are holding ourselves over until lunch. We're gonna eat lunch in about an hour. So we just split a built bar post-workout and are enjoying a nice coffee and of course, water. That's like a huge tip that I have on vacation. Drink a ton of water. You're probably having more carbohydrates than you're used to having at home. So that can cause you to hold more water, feel more bloated, look a little softer. And so if you drink a lot of water, that will really help combat that. And you're just gonna feel so much better staying hydrated, especially if you're on a tropical vacation and you're somewhere in the heat. So we're going to enjoy this and go get in the hot tub. All right guys, we were just hot tubbing. We found this little cabana that was open. Actually, a lot of them are open. So cute. <laughs> because um, it's a little rainy out and we were just hot tubbing and stuff. Babe, I love the suit. What'd you just say about Beckham, babe? Oh my gosh, okay, so I remember when Beck was in the NICU and I was looking out the window and I just had this like really intense grief of worrying that he would never get to see the world from Earth in the way that I wanted him to see it. And, <laughs> and when I was exercising this morning and just looking out at the ocean, I just had so much gratitude that he's gonna get to see all of this one day. And I know that Hunter is working so hard to create a life for us to be able to show our kids these beautiful places. So I just feel super, super grateful. So that interpreted just kind of tells me in the next three to five years, three to five year plan, right? The goal is to just purchase this place. <laughs> not super big um it's you actually guys, gorgeous it's a if really hunter purchases this place then every subscriber gets to come for free <laughs> yes absolutely um it won't happen but it's <laughs> it's gorgeous so an abundant mindset. this is kind of the i think i think you've probably shown them right babe but um this is what the resort looks like going up i don't know if i've showed you guys and the then outside. this is also part of the resort so it's beautiful there's not a lot of people out right now because it just started raining so that's why we kind of decided to film it's like oh it's laid back um, but it looks like the sun's about to come I back out because like it stopped it. raining. Woo! <laughs> um, so, just a reminder for everybody out there that needs to hear this. If you're at your home and the food's not free, you won't overeat. <laughs> so true. You want me in the shop so that the resort looks nicer than it really is? I'm leaving that in. <gasps> oh. <laughs> All right, babe, the full day of eating continues. What do we got? Okay, so we're gonna have lunch, and I got a ton of fruits, a ton of vegetables, and a couple pieces of meat. 
This is what I really like to start out with, just because it makes it easier for me to have like good nutrient dense foods before I go hard on dessert because I'm a dessert <laughs> girl. So I'm gonna show you guys the dessert table and I am going to try like every single one and take multiple bites. Babe, is this round four? Okay, so I tried all the desserts at lunch and I just take like one or two very small bites to determine if I like it or not. I think it's important to pay attention to your bite size because without even realizing it, you can take a bite of a dessert and it's half the dessert in one bite. So I like to find what I like and what's really worth it. So I wasn't crazy about any of the desserts today at lunch, so we came out to the cafe and got two of my very favorites that I've been loving for the past few days. This kind of tastes like a custardy pie with chocolate. And then this tastes like a chocolate crunch bar in a pastry. It is so good. So I'll probably eat about a third of each of these desserts. And it is worth every bite. <laughs> Snack time, what do we got, doll? A little veggie bowl. So it has jicama, carrots, cucumber, and we're having this to hold us over because we're gonna go eat dinner in like an hour and I'm dipping it in ranch. All right, for some reason here in Cancun, the pool table's a big deal. We haven't been able to get it all week. Someone's been on it like 20, every single time we've checked, we've checked multiple times a day, but it was a goal of my brother Chandler's to be able to play this game at least one time for the And we were walking to dinner when we saw it open, so we're prolonging hunger fullness cues in order to play this game, which is a big deal. It takes a lot of love for me to do something like this. my face on the pool table. <laughs> Let's show the bruise. I got on top to hit a shot. <laughs> and when I missed the shot, I was disappointed. <laughs> so I like hung my head, like, and you normally go, oh, like that. But I did it on the pool table and legit just made straight contact. And when I got, when I looked back up and I, when I came to, I had an epiphory. It's <laughs> probably the opposite. So when I came back to and I looked up, I thought I like passed out because of how hard the sound was. And it turns out, <laughs> I had just lost the game. <laughs> <laughs> He's way too good at all things he does. <laughs> oh no, he got lucky. Where are we, babe? Round two. After dinner, I got the same two desserts. <laughs> they look the exact same because they are. I had to fight for this one. Yeah, what happened there? There was a guy in line, and he, like, the girl was getting it for me, and he tried to order the same thing, so I started yelling. I already ordered Literally, though, she was actually yelling. Oh, I just ordered that. I ordered that. That's fine. <laughs> it's like Black Friday so at Walmart. Okay guys, I know the lighting is a little bit crazy right now, but it is late. We are going to call it a night. I hope that you guys enjoyed this full day of eating at an all-inclusive resort. I really wanted to show you guys how I really do try to make the majority of my choices healthy, but I don't hold back. I indulge on the desserts that I absolutely love. You guys saw that I got my, um, oh, sorry, I have an eyelash. You guys saw that I got my desserts that I'm the biggest fan of multiple times throughout the day and I typically won't eat the whole entire thing, but I like to have a little bit of everything, especially because everything here is included. Every time I come to an all-inclusive resort, it honestly just like 
hits me so different because I never thought that I would be in control of food and my body. As most of you know, I suffered from a really intense eating disorder when I was younger and I've been recovered for almost six years now, which is super exciting. But when I get to make these memories and I'm not stressed or worried about food and I can trust my own intuition, I know that I'm going to eat when I'm hungry and stop when I'm full. It just reminds me that everything that I did to recover and the times when I fought and the way I became comfortable with feeling uncomfortable has led me to so much comfort now. And I'm so, so grateful that I decided to change my life because now I get to enjoy memories like this. And it really is just incredible to see how full circle it has come. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you liked it, be sure to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to hit that red subscribe button down below and I will catch you guys in the next one. Bye.